title of this video. This is going to be a very quick last minute Shabbat meal prep because we were invited to someone's house and then they unexpectedly got sick so we have to stay home and it's Friday midday and I'm just like scrambling and I thought it's very realistic. This happens um, I think to a lot of people. Uh, you have plans and then they get cancelled and you have to figure stuff out so I decided to take you guys along and if you'd like to see what I made then please keep watching. So I decided to take this out and defrost it. It's a boneless spare rib that my husband got for me, and I'll show you how I make that. I also had previously frozen some chicken wings that I had roasted, and I had them out only for one day, and I saw that a lot of people weren't eating them, so I just quickly froze them. So this will be a very nice and quick appetizer. I'm going to place them on a baking tray again, crispen them up, and put some delicious sauce over them. Here I have some of these eggplants that I have uh, placed some zigzags or I crisscrossed them and I placed some avocado oil with some salt and pepper. I put them face side, I mean cut side down and I'm going to be placing it in a 450 degree oven until they're nice and soft on the inside. I'm going to be starting off with making my salmon. I'm going to be using some fish spice over that as well as some teriyaki marinade putting that all over the salmon and one container of like marinara sauce that I had in the fridge. I'm going to be putting that all around the fish as well with some jalapeno peppers that are pickled. I'm like obsessed with these. They're so nice and tanky and go well with this fish. To be then placing some water into the container that had the marinara sauce, placing that all over the salmon, covering the fish up and getting it ready to go into the oven. To the barbecue wings that have already been cooked, I'm going to be placing in some barbecue sauce and some Frank's red hot sauce, giving everything a very good mix and getting that ready to go into the oven as well. But I'm also going to be adding in one tablespoon of salt and one tablespoon of the chicken console mix. And for two cups of rice for my osvo, I usually add in four cups of water and it gives it the perfect consistency. Thank you. 
Now I'm getting ready to fry up my flounder. If you've seen my previous Shabbat videos, I love frying up flounder, but when I'm in a rut, I enjoy using this breaded flounder. It has a little bit of a different texture and taste, but I find it very convenient when I'm short on time. It's already done for me. All I have to do is just fry it up. At this point, the eggplants have finished roasting and are perfectly done. I'm just going to be separating two or three of them so that I can make something else with it. And with the rest of it, I'm going to be scooping up the inside to create a salad. At this point, the fish is ready to be flipped, so I'm just going to be flipping them over. I'm also keeping an eye on my soup. Once it starts to boil, uh, there's usually like this filmy, dirty kind of water that comes to the surface, so I'm going to be scooping that out as well. Everything is out of the oven now. I had all of these things inside the oven set at 400 degrees and they were all covered to the salmon. Now I'm going to just be adding in some dried cilantro just to give it a pop of color and covering it back up so that it stays nice and moist. The barbecue chicken wings are perfect and I'm just going to be covering that as well. And for the spare ribs, I'm going to be adding in some dark brown sugar over it with some general chow sauce giving that all a good mix, covering it back up and putting it back into a 400 degree oven to cook for an additional 20 minutes. Here I have my stuffed onions with zucchinis that I made the night before. I knew that we were going to be going away to someone's house, so I wanted to prepare a little meal just so we could take it with us just to help our host out. So luckily I made that and all I have to do now is just put it on the stovetop. If any of you are interested in how I made it, I do have a video out already on my stuffed onions, so I'll have that link down below in the description box. After the spare ribs have been cooking for 20 minutes covered, I'm going to be placing them back into the oven uncovered for about 10 minutes. Now it's time to get into the salads. I use this trina container to make my trina. All you have to do is do equal parts of water to the trina mixture, but I also add in a few cloves of garlic and some salt and lemon juice.
So the eggplants that I have separated earlier, I'm going to be just basting them with the trina that I just made, putting on some garbanzo beans over the top and sprinkling in some cilantro or parsley just to give it a nice beautiful look. After cooking the soup for about an hour and a half, I fish out all of the celeries and the onion and I'm just going to be straining them through the sifter just to get all of their juices out. I love a clear soup and this is just my go-to soup when I have so little time on my hand. I don't want to chop up the vegetables very small. I just put everything into the pot, sift everything out that I don't like to have large chunks of and the soup is beautifully clear. So here are the salads that I have prepared so far and I'm going to be mixing everything now. So these salads I have already showed you, that's the tzikhina and the eggplant with tzikhina. And here I have my tuna salad with just two stalks of celery, two hard boiled eggs and some tuna fish. And over here we have the carrot salad that I'm going to be mixing with some avocado oil, salt and sugar and some black pepper. Here is going to be, I forgot the name of this, um, but that's the roasted eggplant in here, some tomatoes and red peppers, and some dill and cilantro. And I have a little bit of guacamole that I'm just going to be adding in some salt. I already have the lemon juice inside here with a few cherry tomatoes and some cilantro. And this is the Asian salad. So there's a white cabbage underneath. There's some carrots here, some slivered almonds, some cilantro and some chives, some red pepper, and the chow mein noodles. And I'm going to show you how I make that dressing as well. To the tuna salad, I'm going to be placing in some salt and pepper and about two tablespoons of mayo and mixing that really well and placing them into a container. Now to the carrot salad, I'm going to be adding in some vinegar, salt, and pepper, some cumin and coriander, a good squeeze of lemon juice, two teaspoons of sugar, and some avocado oil. To finish up the roasted eggplant salad, I'm going to be adding in a good amount of lemon juice. It's supposed to be nice and tangy, some salt and pepper, mixing that all really, really well. To finish off the guacamole, I'm going to be adding in some salt and pepper and mixing that as well. For the Asian salad dressing, I'm going to be placing in 4 tablespoons of sesame oil into a bowl, followed by 4 tablespoons of vinegar. Two tablespoons of honey, two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice, some salt and pepper. I'm going to be whisking all of that really well and placing it into a separate container so that I can mix it right before serving. 
Everything is ready now. Here are the gorgeous salads full of vibrant colors and packed full of flavor. The tuna salad, the roasted eggplant salad, the Asian salad, tina, the dressing, the carrot salad, and the garbanzo beans with the tina and eggplant. I love how beautiful and saucy these stuffed onions and zucchinis came out. I enjoy making my stuffed onions and zucchinis with a nice amount of tomato sauce as its base. A lot of people make it very clear, the sauce. I just enjoy it more flavorful. I enjoy it this way more. And so if you like to see again how I made it, then check out the video linked down below. It'll give you all the details and all of the recipe directions. These great appetizer barbecue chicken wings were perfect and I repurposed it. I already had it in my freezer and all I had to do was just put a nice amount of sauce on it, roast it up again and nobody knew the difference. <laughs> These spare ribs look finger licking good and they were. The flounder was such a good go-to thing to do because I was short on time and it saved me. Well, that's it guys. Thank you for joining me on my last minute Shabbat meal prep. If you guys are stuck in the same situation as I was in today, I hope that this video provided you with some inspiration for your meal ideas or just inspiration for new recipes that hopefully you will love. If you like this kind of video, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you as a viewer. And once again, if you made anything that I made today, I would love it if you would tag me on Instagram so I can see what you made. Shabbat Shalom from my family to yours.